Hi and welcome back to Wicked Ones Tarot. My name is Carmen and today we're going to do another round of Wicked Weekend. So I'm going to do a quick peek, pull three cards for each of the air signs, which of course is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So first let's start off by calling in spirit. Hope you're having a wonderful day. This will be one of my time specific readings. So this is specifically for April 15th, tax day if you're American, through the 17th. So let's see, what I'll do is I'll actually, let's see, I'll divide up all the cards for each of the three signs and then tell you what I see for each at the end, okay? Feel free to fast forward. <laughs> all right, what do we have for Aquarius for this weekend? We have for Aquarius for this weekend. Ooh. What do we have for Gemini for this weekend? For Libra for this weekend. <laughs> So that first round is the mini tattoo tarot. It's not really called mini, I just call it mini because I have two tattoo tarots. <laughs> All right, what do we have for Larry? What do we have for Gemini for this weekend? We have for Gemini for this weekend? We have for Libra for this weekend? And that was the Tarot Familiars. So the last one, let's see. I kind of like doing all the small decks here for you guys and getting a an accurate pull. All right, let's see. What do we have for Aquarius for this weekend, please? What do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Libra? All right, we are all set, friends. Let's see what we've got. For Aquarius, we have the Nine of Coins or Nine of Pentacles in the reverse and the Emperor along with the Page of Pentacles. So Aquarius, what I'm sensing here is we've got two people on different pages. One person is a little bit more codependent than the other. The other is showing up as the emperor. So somebody has their emotions and you know actions and behavior under control and another person is maybe being a little bit needy and making an offer that doesn't really seem to be up to par with the person who does have their shit together. So Aquarius for the weekend, make sure you're using your discernment and checking out whether or not things are actually right for who you are. Queen of Swords. This is for Gemini. Queen of Swords in the reverse, along with Eight of Pentacles and justice. So Gemini, I get the feeling that you have been dealing with a feminine energy that has been manipulative and controlling and tried to use words or information against you. And this has been a long-term thing that they've been working towards. So this could be like a childhood friend, this could be an ex-lover, either way, there's somebody here who's been working for a long time trying to get you off your um, off your right track, but we've got justice coming out, which is telling me that all of these injustices that have happened to you, Gemini, are coming to a head this weekend, specifically for this Queen of Swords individual who has been unnecessarily um, uncaring towards you. So. You know, you might have a front row seat to it, and you might not. Either way, just know, Gemini, that the things that have been done to you that were uh, unjust are being corrected this weekend. 
and Libra, we've got the Three of Coins or the Three of Pentacles to start off your weekend. And the Sun in Reverse with the Queen of Cups. So the Three of Coins is telling me that you have lost some measure of happiness due to external parties. So a third party or someone perhaps like loosely related to you. There's someone here who has put their nose in your business and it's pertaining to a woman who is loved. So you might be the woman who is loved or you might be the one who loves this woman. But I'm getting the sense that what you really need to consider for this weekend, Libra, is whether or not the right people are involved in your business and if it's best for you to just keep your relationship stuff to yourself. So I hope that helps you, Air Signs. Thank you, as always, for any likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. Have a wonderful weekend.